Okay, John the Engineer's backup anti-poverty system. If you can't get interest-free banking so that your problems are solved all at once, and there's poverty and shortage of money in circulation, the next best thing for poor people to use is coupons. Coupons. They're a great machine for saving poor people money. Okay? And you'll find most people use them. They check all the time. Here's a perfect example. You got 16 little pages, both sides, 32 companies offering coupons. Great. Now this costs a little bit to put out. They got to pay for the distribution and the printing and get it to the poor people. And then they got to eat the discount too. Now, my question is, if they didn't have to pay so much for the printing and the distribution, wouldn't they have a little bit more to give discounts to people? So the question is, how can we improve on the efficiency of this machinery so that it becomes cheaper for the merchants to offer discounts? Well, first step. This kind of a discount coupon machine, far superior. Let your eyes do the walking instead of let your fingers do the walking through the coupons. So we establish once and for all a paper, like a directory, like a phone book, was the easiest way to search for your deals. Here we are, stuck with these 16 coupons, except notice on the front page, you've got all of the 32 businesses listed telling what the coupons are inside. Well, and some have two, two coupons, some have three coupons. So, anyway, you can go in there, look for the right ones. You got an Arby's, you got a Harvey's, you got a Fast Eddie's Hamburgers, Broyster Chicken, um, Wild Wings, and Wingmasters if you like chicken. But the point is, you can only use the particular coupon in that store, and the rest of the coupons you're going to throw away. Think about that, how much wastage goes into this. So, there's a huge amount of wastage that these merchants are forced to pay for before they even give you the discount. So, that's why so few can afford to do it. Now, if we could cut back on the cost of this, hey, how about instead of all those different pages, you put all the names, 32 names on one page, and you had one no-name coupon that worked beside every business that has its percent listed right beside it. You could do it all on one page instead of 32. Factor of 32. Think about that. You could put all of it on one page and that means that coupon would be good anywhere and there'd be no wasted coupons. Now the point is they're going to say yeah but I could have used one at Arby's and I could have used Harvey's gave me two different coupons so I mean what are you going to do there? I say well okay so why don't we put six no-name coupons on one sheet? And there, you still factor of 32 cheaper. So, instead of all of this booklet here, all you need is your no-name coupon. We'll call it a super coupon from now on with the directory of stores right beside it. Now, what this does, it means that you might not want to go to Arby's. You might like Harvey's best and it's closest. All your coupons can go to Harvey's. Or you might like the Wingmaster and not the beef. Well, you can go to the Wingmaster. All your coupons. No unused coupons. And the beauty of this kind of a list is the coupons never expire. It's the listing on the directory that expires. If they change it, the deal has been changed. If they get off, the deal has been changed. But your coupons will never expire because they're not dependent on any business in particular. They're dependent on the whole list. So, this is a way, a quantum jump in efficiency, a factor of 30 easily just by showing you how we could put all of them on the front page with six free no-name nuggets, I call them, gold nuggets, and that would solve the problem. 30 times cheaper for a businessman to participate in a one coupon than a 16 pager. Now, don't forget, if you put on the back, you could have 60, 70 businesses, right? So anyway, the question is, how can you optimize? How good can it get? Well, here's an example from the newspaper we put out. 10 free coupons down the side, 100 store list with maybe 25 different categories. There it is. Cut them out, go use them in any one of the stores for the discount listed. Now, how many can we get on a sheet? Well, this total 
volume, I'm sorry, area, is probably equal to this. Both sides of a broadsheet newspaper. And I found that I could get, in that column, 80 businesses in a decent sized font, bigger than a, news, than a telephone book, and 20 categories in that line, and that's five categories across. That's 400 businesses on a page. And that means on this broadsheet, I could probably do 1,500, 1,600, and if I made it a smaller font, I could probably get up to 2,000, 3,000 on one sheet. But in this case, there are 1,000 stores here in the Ottawa area. Now, let's say that this was going to cost you 500 bucks, okay? The merchant. And then on top of that, you're going to have to give the discount when they come in. Well, that means that if you went to just one coupon, it would be like one thirtieth of the cost. And if you went to here like one fiftieth of the cost, instead of costing 500 bucks for like a full page, it costs you 10 bucks for like a quarter of an inch. With the same information, name, address, phone number, discount on product. But the no-name coupon works everywhere. So, no wasted coupons and minimum space. The basic question was, how am I going to collect 10 bucks from a thousand guys? It's going to cost me more to collect. What can I do? How did I get a thousand stores to participate when I couldn't afford to get them all organized? I said to myself, I'm going to make it free so that I'll try and collect 25 cents a gold nugget from the customers who are getting the discounts and that way I can give it to the merchants for free. Then I don't have to chase them for billing every month, accounts receivable, that whole end of it. I will give you an ad in my directory forever for free. You just have to tell me what you want to offer people when they come into your store. So if they come in at work, great. If they don't come in, it's free. So the question is, businesses who would never have given a coupon before because they couldn't afford the publication costs can now say, okay, I'll give 5% off labor on construction or kitchen renovations or all sorts of things that are suddenly worth a $50 bill because they want your business. So basically, it costs zero now for the merchant to do the distribution. And we have the maximum use of the coupons because all of them can go back to Harvey's. Now... Is Harvey's going to object? They print two coupons. Hey, why not make six of them usable? If the guy wants to come in every day, don't you want him? If giving him the buck off the hamburgers what brings him back day after day after day, come on now. Of course you do. So that's the beauty of it. These work, all of them, at your favorite spot. Okay, here is the last Ottawa directory I published with the highest number of stores I had, 1,000 over 1,000, and of course there was space for insert ads, it wasn't packed, there was still a lot of room, I could have put more stores, but uh, the front page, I had the four free gold nuggets, I couldn't give too many because I had to pay for the printing of the broadsheet, you know, and it's 1% of the space for the coupons and 99% of the space for everything else, so what could I do, anyway, four nuggets for a buck, and basically, uh, Pauline Morissette, wonderful cartoonist, did a cartoon which explained how you could save money with gold nuggets on a regular basis. Now keep in mind, these are permanent savings, savings that you do week in, week out, week in, week out, over and over and over, 50 times a year or more. Here it comes. John is pondering his purchases. Gee whiz, day before payday, I've got exactly $50. I have to pick up dry cleaning, get gas, I promise the kids videos and pizza. Later in the smoke shop, this sounds great. If I buy four gold nugget coupons for a dollar and shop in the directory, maybe I can make it. At the gas bar, I just spent my first gold nugget and saved a dollar on gas. A 300% profit, not bad for 25 cents. At the cleaners, I just saved 10% on my cleaning with my second gold nugget. Instead of paying $20, I only paid $18. I like these gold nuggets. At the video store, wow! Instead of paying $6 for two videos, I only paid $3 because I had a gold nugget. At Pizza Pizza, this is wild! 50% off my pizza! 
Instead of paying $10, I paid $5. That was my last nugget. I'll buy more tomorrow. I've saved $11 today by investing $1 in gold nuggets. A thousand percent profit. Around the dinner table that night, John starts to tell the family of the wonderful savings with gold nugget coupons. But honey, gold nuggets aren't new. I've been using them for months for hairdressing, bookstores, shoe repairs, flowers, just about everything. Junior says mom bought me toys, comics, videos, and sports stuff with gold nuggets. And the dog at the bottom says I had my hair cut with one. Bow wow. So now let's go back to how much actual savings that boiled down to. At the end, he had spent a dollar on nuggets and he had saved eleven dollars, netting him ten. Off a dollar, that's a profit of a thousand percent. So you simply count how many quarters you saved, draw, add a few zeros, two zeros, and that's the percentage that you won. So think of it as a mini stock market. You buy four stocks in the morning and then you try and sell them at different points in the day for more. See what you get. Now, gasoline. The gas bar, Safeway, would take a nugget for every $15 in gas you put in. And in those days, $15 was pretty well uh, close to full tank. And so that means if you used it every time, okay, and let's say you did this once a week, well, you're saving 75 cents net. You got a dollar off, 15. So you're saving 75 cents net on every $15 sale, which is a flat 5%. So if you did it every day and you spent $1,000 a year on gas, well then you would be saving $50. Okay, that's 75 cents uh, a week or whatever, a little more. So now let's say you're a cabbie and you're not spent, you know, you're spending 10,000 a year on gasoline. Well that 5% is $500 to a cabbie. So you can understand how the cabbies were all using gold nuggets in Ottawa during the 80s because every nugget was worth a buck in gas and it only cost them 25 cents to get it. Well, get it? So there's a permanent saving of 5% on the gas bill if John goes back to the Safeway all year round, right? Next saving the 10% at the dry cleaners. Well. If you look inside, almost every dry cleaner in town is there. The big chains, Betty Bright, Cash Cleaners, Britannia Cleaners, Spick and Span, Dutch Cleaners, all of them are offering about 10%. One fifteen, but um, one twenty if you spend more than 10. But I mean, wow, big chains, why? Because it's free and everybody else is. And if this free machine will bring a customer in, they're willing to give it 10%. So there you go. So before, it's quite easy if John is spending 20 bucks a week, he's a suit working downtown maybe, who knows, that's a thousand a year that he's spending on dry cleaning. Well, 10% of that is his flat $100 saving. Not bad, eh? Let's say he goes to the video store once a week, every Friday night after work, to pick up the videos. Well, 50%. He's only spending three bucks 50 times, and that's 150. So that's a net saving of $150 there. Pizza Pizza, wonderful story. We had a pizzeria, Frida's, that gave 50% uh, off on weeknights, and Pizza Pizza had an offer on their, we accept competitors' coupons. So people came in and said, hey, will you give us 50% off like Frida's will? And they honored the Gold Nugget coupon, their competitors' coupon, for 50%. What ethics? I love Pizza Pizza, and I do eat their pizza now because I love their ethics, and they, they actually were didn't have to. They could have also said, no, no, only on weeknights or whatever, but they took them all the time. Now, I gave away these coupons. I published them in the newspapers, cut them out, use them, gave out sheets to the police stations, fire stations, hospitals, cabbies to get them using. And, uh, of course, Pizza Pizza may have had a lot of business. You ask any of your grandparents if they remember getting 50% off at Pizza Pizza because I'm sure many of them love that deal. And I hope it helped Pizza Pizza be a success. You never know. But that's the kind of action we had. So... He is saving himself a thousand percent, making, he's left with an extra ten bucks at the end of the day he didn't have before. And wow, you have to admit that's kind of neat. 
We, all my friends who have gold nuggets, we would never go shopping anywhere where we're not going to get five or ten or fifteen bucks off. Now that's one day where we save ten bucks, and if he does this every Friday, well that's five hundred bucks that Mr. So-and-so saves on his gas and his video and his pizza and his dry cleaning. Now, on another day, he might get, geez, a hundred bucks off on tires at Ralph's Tire Shop. If his grandfather, the senior, comes in with him, okay? There are all sorts of big deals, renovations, auto repairs, 10% off parts, most of the auto stores, 30 auto repair shops, you know, I mean, these are big numbers. And if you have a nugget when you go in there, you're gonna save that big number. Okay, so let's go over the savings you can actually pull off, and I want you to try and keep track of how many of the deals and the categories of purchases you made in the last few months or the last year to give you an idea of how much you could have saved. Assume 10% on everything, just to get an idea, okay? So, first category, auto limousines. Ever rented one of those? Not 10% off. Auto radiator shops, ever fix your radiator? What's 10% of that? Auto radio stereo, auto rentals, you got a discount, Apple, budget rent a car, all given 10% off. Auto repair, 37 different shops offering 100 bucks off, 10% off on labor, on parts, whatever. Auto rust proofing, two shops, auto sales, 10 shops. 200 off a used car, 100 off a used car, 100 in free gas off a car sale. Get an idea? Auto tires, 100 bucks off auto tires for seniors at Ralph's Tires. Auto towing, auto transmissions, 10% off there. Babysitting services, baked goods, yes, bakeries, 10% off. Barbers, you get your hair cut. Beauty aids, bedding, bicycles, got a bike, fix it. Bingo supplies, boat cruises, boats, books. Um, bowling, bridal sales, butchers, carpet cleaning shops, give them a nugget, get 10% off. Carpet sales, catering, ceramics, chainsaws, children's wares, cleanup, cleaners. I mentioned all the cleaners there, all the big ones. Coffee, comics, computers, 11 computer stores, 10% off your computer. That adds up for a 25 cent nugget, right? Cosmetics, costumes, crystal, dance studio, disc jockey, drafting services, draperies. Come on, that's a decent value. Driving school, electrolysis, engine repairs, exterminators, farm and feed supply, fencing, fireplaces, fish, fishing, flea markets, florists, eight florists, um, forklift repairs, furniture, furrier, gifts, golf shops, hair replacement, Hair styling, 63 of them. Hair hardware, health food, hobby shops. Home renovations, you got air conditioning, building supplies, carpentry, electrical, flooring, garage doors, kitchen design. Best story there. Celebrity Kitchen gives 600 bucks off a $6,000 order. 10%. It seems a guy, a doctor called him in, he did an $8,000 estimate. Doctor pulled out his gold nugget, said, is this worth 10%? The guy said, yes, sir, it is. And then he came into our shop after he got a $7,200 contract and bought an insert ad. So he was not happy with getting the deal, as well as the doctor who saved $800. 32,000 percent profit. Paint and decor, painters, Plumbing, renovate plumbing. When was the last time you got 10% off your plumbing bill? Home renovations, roofing, siding, solariums. Now, hotels and motels, 10% off. There's a fin. House cleaning, hydraulics, industrial heating, insurance, interior decorating, jewelry repair, jewelry sales, 15 stores, 10% off. Ladies accessories, ladies fashions, 35 stores. Landscaping, 10 companies, laundry, another 10, leather goods, lighting, linens, locksmiths, okay? You got a locksmith, there's 10% off. Martial arts, menswear, mirrors and glass, motorcycles, moving and storage, music lessons, music stores, novelties, office supplies, opticians, party supplies, paralegal supplies, patio furniture, pet grooming, pet stores, Pharmacies, photocopy shops, photo photography, printing and typesetting. 
propane gas, that's pretty good, pumps, quilting, recording audio, records, religious articles, and restaurants. We have 93 of them. We have Canadian, Caribbean, Chinese, Delicatessen, Donairs, French, Indian, Irish, Italian, Mexican, Pizza and Subs, Polynesian, Portuguese, and Roadhouse restaurants. Rickshaw rides, roommate services, satellites, Scottish food, scuba consultants, security systems, sewing, sharpening, shirts custom, shoe repairs, 15 shops, shoe sales, 5 stores, um, signs, snowblowers, snowmobiles, 10% off, pretty good, tune-ups, no parts, sporting goods, stereos, tailoring, tanning, toys, trailer rentals, travel agencies, trophies and plaques, tuxedo rentals, uniforms, variety stores, vertical blinds, video productions, video rentals, weaving, weight control, windows, windsurfing, wools, word processing, and writers. I mean, can you think of many categories left where you wouldn't get to spend a gold nugget? So smart people would spend a gold nugget on virtually every deal they ever did by always shopping in the gold nugget directory first. So, by shopping here first, and where are you going to look? The yellow pages with name, address, phone number, or my gold nugget directory with name, address, phone number, and discount for your gold nugget coupons. Well, of course, this is the one people obviously are going to want to use. Now, there were two ways to find out where you could spend your nuggets. You could buy a directory, I hoped, or you could see right on the outside of the store they had a decal telling you how much it was worth. I mean, there was a buck off at the uh, Safeway, right? And there was 10% off at the dry cleaners. One of the favorites was PST and GST off, about 13% at the time. So there were two ways you could find out. So there were a thousand of these up in Ottawa stores in the 80s and 90s, and they were keep using them for as long as they had them because they don't expire. But I eventually had to move, went to Toronto, and while there, I started up a Toronto network with about a hundred stores. And again, the same problem. Anytime you want to give away the coupons, you have to print the darn list. And the list is always 80% of the cost to 99% of the cost. And I just couldn't do it. But it's dawned on me now. I'm going to take my lists and I'm going to post them on the internet. And that's why you're here at this site. You want to find out, wow, can I still get a discount from one of these Ottawa or Toronto or I got Brantford stores on now where I live. Yes, you can. If you call them up and say, hey, you're on that list. He's got contracts saying free ad forever. Now, you can also go get the contract, fill it out and say, take me off, fax it to me. I'll take you off. But I gave you the deal back 25 years ago because it was free forever and if it was a good deal for bringing in customers then, why wouldn't it be now? So if you've got a gold nugget, and I've shipped quite a few to the Ottawa area to be passed out in the anti-poverty networks, if you've got a gold nugget, just ask the guy, me and my friends got these, we'd like to come in, will you still honor them? And most people are probably going to say, after 25 years it finally started to work. And of course, if they say, well, I never heard of this, well, they can send them to the goldnuggetnetwork.com and they'll see the video explaining how the previous guy who owned their business got on the Gold Nugget Network and offered five bucks off a perm or whatever, a haircut, you know, and do they still want to stay on? So, if they're already there, do they want to change something? That can all be done, but right now, I'm simply putting up the list. Beside it, you have question marks if I don't know if they're alive or not. If they're alive, but they're not verified as taking nuggets, there's an A. If there's a V, they're verified taking nuggets. And, of course, if you want to induce a new guy to join, great, because he gets a free ad and you get somewhere new to spend your nuggets. So that basically is how the Ottawa and the Toronto system were benefiting poor people by organizing their discounts with this super coupon that made it free for the merchants so basically their whole advertising budget could be diverted to giving people discounts. Get it? They, had to use, they used to have to pay 500 bucks plus give the discount and now they get these people coming in with all the coupons printed aimed at their store and it's all coming off the discount, the advertising budget with nothing going for printing. So more businesses can afford to give poor people discounts. 
And that basically is the power of a no-name coupon, a no-name, no-waste. Get it? No name, no wasted coupon. They all work in one place or in all of them. So, now, what's interesting is people are going to say, hey, that's going to cost the government taxes. Because, look at if I was making 50 bucks and I would have charged, say, 10% in sales tax, 55. If I'm now selling it for 40 and I'm only getting 44, 10% scale, the government's not going to get their buck. They're not going to like that. And similarly, if I'm taking in 40 bucks instead of 50, I'm only paying income tax on 40 instead of 50. They're not going to like that either. Well, yeah, if they don't like that, why haven't they stopped coupons in the past? Here's why. Let's say, great example, we had Big Lee restaurant in, uh, in Vanier, and uh, he used to buy videos and play them for his customers at night. And when videos were new, you know, I mean, it was a draw to bring people into his restaurant. And uh, the rest, the video guy would come over at nights and he'd spend his night like Norm at Cheers, enjoying the bar and uh, watching videos with everybody else. And so let's say, for example, that they had a $10 bill and, you know, every day he brought the $10 bill and he uh, took the videos, paid 11 sales tax, and then came back, as, put the videos in and here comes the, in his restaurant, here comes the video guy with the $10 bill and he buy, pays 11 bucks of course for his uh, food. They do this day after day for five days out of six. Monday it's slow, they don't eat and they don't have video exchange. But five days out of six they do. So at the end of the week they both rang up 50 bucks in sales for which they're going to owe income tax. And they both paid out 50 bucks in purchases plus five sales tax yeah so basically governments collected 10 in sales tax and owed for the full amount in income tax now they go on the gold nugget for say 20 percent off both of them well that means that uh, big lee comes over to the video shop and he doesn't bring a ten dollar bill he brings an eight dollar bill with a gold nugget staple them together for a minute hands it in he now pays Tax, sales tax on eight bucks, not ten. Eighty cents, not a buck. Get it? Now, the guy takes the eight dollars with the gold nugget attached, brings it back to Big Lee's for his supper that night, and he also pays eight bucks eighty and not eleven bucks. Saves a little bit of sales tax. At the end of the week, they both rang up forty dollars in sales, we know that, and they both paid sales tax on forty instead of instead of paying out the fifty-five, fifty with the five tax, they end up paying out forty-four, forty with the four tax, they're left with eleven dollars. Now, what can they do with the eleven dollars? Well, I would think maybe Big Lee's going to come over to the video shop on Monday because now he's busier on Mondays and say, okay, listen, I'll take those videos this time around because I got the extra money. I can afford it. And now the restaurant is going to say, well, geez, I got the spare 11 bucks too. I'm coming over for supper tonight as you're playing the new videos. So the government got the same amount of money. They got $50 in recorded sales tracks, transactions each. They got their five bucks. But they both got 60 bucks worth of living. They got an extra 20% worth of living for the same sales tax. Now, if these were rich people, sure you might say, okay, they're going to bank the money and the government won't get it. But most poor people will spend it. And that means they're simply going to spend it up until it's all spent again. The government gets the same five bucks off of 50. But now for that 50 bucks, they got 60 bucks worth of living. And that's the whole purpose of, and finally, the best benefit of all. You know, the two bucks that was replaced by the gold nugget in those transactions? He left it in the bank, and it collected interest, or it paid down interest. But for every bank dollar you substitute a gold nugget for, you're saving that interest. So, the gold nugget system not only cut your sales tax, and your income tax, allowing you to live it up to the max, to bring it back to where it should be, but for more living, it also allowed you to cut your interest bill. And there's more money for you to spend even more, and that means there's more taxation for the government in the final analysis. So, again, the only victims in all this are the banks. 
The banks are the guys who are going to lose all the money while we get the advantage and the businesses get the advantage and the government gets the advantage of sharing all the interest the banks are losing. Okay, if you've come here to spend a gold nugget, all you have to do is load the database of stores in any sorted order you want. I have three different sorts available right now. We have by area, so city, province, city, category, store. And then we have the list of by category if you're looking for the best deal anywhere. And then finally we have the by name in case you're looking for a particular store. So those three sorted lists are available. You can pick from them. Now you will notice that beside at the beginning of each there's a uh, either a question mark, because I don't know if the store is still alive after 25 years. There could be an A, which means, yes, I found out it is alive, but I don't know if the guy takes nuggets yet. V, which means it's verified. He takes nuggets, so all new stores get a V, and I've had a few old stores verified. And finally, there's the O for those who are off before I delete them officially. So they'll have one last chance to change your mind before then. So, you have to therefore look around. Now, just because it says you don't know, doesn't mean you can't call the guy up and ask and say, I got this old coupon. These are expired, but they're still good now. You could still say, I got this expired coupon from 25 years ago that was offering me 10% off a perm. If me and my friends come in, will you still honor it? Why not? Ask. And if you do, please contact me. Let me know. Fill out the form for stores you know are alive, and I'll send you a reward of some gold nuggets. Okay, this is my contract. It's available at my site. It offers the businessman a free ad forever. He just has to tell me the category, the deal, and the qualifier if he wants. And at the bottom, if he wants to get off, he just reproduces his deal, ticks I want off the list, faxes it to me, and then he's off the list. Now, same idea if you want to sign new people up. Okay, now if you want to sign someone up, just simply fill out the form, add your name as the sponsor, because I'm going to give you some reward gold nuggets, and then fax this in, and it'll get up on the list. As simple as that. Let's say you're a cabbie in Toronto, and you wouldn't mind saving $500 a year on gas. Well, all you have to do is walk up to your nearest gas bar and ask him to get on the system. If you get him to fill it out and you put your name on the sponsor, then I'm going to send you two strips of 32 gold nuggets for every new listing we get. So, if you're in your little village and you approach all the stores in your village and you get a bunch of them to get on, well, that means I'm going to send you a whole bunch of gold nuggets you can use in those stores. So. That is how my anti-poverty backup currency will work. I'm going to issue my gold nuggets again, like in the old days. I'm going to publish some in the, in the Ottawa newspapers in a couple of weeks and just say, cut them out, see if they'll take them, and go save yourself some cash. And that basically, until we set up barter and save ourselves with a time bank account each, is how we can at least cut our expenses for our own personal living using the Gold Nugget Super Coupon designed by Johnny Engineer Turmel.